Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and happy May. I can't believe we're almost halfway through the year. Like how crazy is that? I wanna know how many of you are still working towards your goals. Cause even for me myself, I feel like I slacked with a few of my goals. We wrote down a lot of the things that we wanted to accomplish at the end of the year. And I feel like some of the things I've been pushing to the side. So I wanna make it my mission this month to get back on track with everything that I want to accomplish. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you're new to my channel or you're watching this video and you're not subscribed, don't forget to subscribe to join the family. And with that being said, if you want to see all the products that I've been loving for the month of April, then let's go ahead and get started. So I want to start off with makeup products because I have a few exciting things that I want to show you today. So I'm going to start off with this Morphe highlighter. If you don't know, Morphe has been like revamping the brand. They have a new look. They have a ton of new products. And I've been testing out this highlighter by them. It's in the shade Extra. And it's actually what I'm wearing on my face right now. I like to use this on no makeup makeup days. Even when I'm not wearing any makeup at all, I'll go in with my fan brush and just apply this on the highest points of my cheekbones. A little bit, a little bit. Bit, bit. <laughs> just a little bit on the high points on my face and it just gives me a really nice inner glow look it's a very soft highlighter but as you can tell I layered it on this makeup look right now and I'm like full beat I do have a lot of makeup and it still looks very beautiful I feel like this suits my skin tone the best it has a nice golden undertone I like the feel and the look of the new palette I think it's very modern and sleek but yet it still looks like morphe products <laughs> First of all, do you know how long it takes me to run out of a concealer? It takes me a long time because I'm always trying new concealers and I'm always like switching back and forth and I am almost out of this KKW concealer. Can you guys believe all like that? It's crazy. I really like it. I wanted to mention it in today's video because it's such a nice concealer. It's so light under the eyes, but it has a gel like formula. It has medium coverage. You can definitely build it up if you needed that extra coverage. But for me personally, I always use like a full coverage foundation. So if you're going in with a full coverage foundation, you don't really need to go in with a full coverage concealer. And it does set really nice under the eyes. After I go in and set my concealer, I usually use my Laura Mercier translucent powder. I like to go in with this KKW Beauty brightening powder. And this, I've never used a brightening powder before. And this was actually my first time using it. After I applied this under my eyes, it completely changed the look of my under eyes. It looks so smooth. It kind of like filtered my under eyes. So this is what it looks like when I swatch it, but when you put it under the eyes, you can't really see the color. So I use shade number two and it works perfectly for me. Oh my God, you guys, I am so excited to talk about these. Oh they're finally out so you can get them now these are actually new by milani they're called the hypnotic lights holographic eye toppers they're basically liquid glittery eyeshadow so you can use them by itself you can use it right on top of eyeshadows i will be buying all the shades that they release because these are so good i feel like one layer gives you that nice glittery look but a second layer gives you that full opaque look. So it covers everything really nicely. They don't have any fallout. They blend really well on the eyes and they're only $11. They're only available on the website that I know of, but if they are available in store. I will find out for you guys and let you know in the description box below. Of course, I have three favorites. I just can't pick one. These are just too good. So the number one favorite is Luster Light and this has a beautiful bronzy shade with a ton of colorful glitter. And then you have Luminous Light. 02. It kind of looks purple when you put it on, but it also has a ton of like raspberry colored glitter. And then 04 Starlight. This is so unique. This color is so gorgeous. It looks so different when you put it on the skin. Oh, oh. What is that? <laughs> kind of looks like an iridescent purpley shade. It's just, oh my God, so beautiful. I want to wear this all over the lid by itself with nothing else. Just, I want this eyeshadow to do all the talking because you don't need anything else. It literally just does all the work for you. It's so beautiful. Highly recommend these. I mean, Milani killed it with those products. So I'm not sure if you guys remember, but I tried this palette out in a first impression video. One second. Oh my God, I need my coffee. Mm -hmm. I like to do my espresso shots with this cup right here because it just, you know, mm, like take one sip and then you're done with it. Um, I don't know where it's from, by the way. It was just sent in a PR package. But anyways, I wanted to mention this palette that I tried in a first impression video and I really like it. I actually met Chloe Morello. She was so nice and so beautiful and so gorgeous. I've been using her palette and I really like it. You have a different combo of eyeshadows and you have your three different blushes. The blushes are really great because they work for light to darker skin tones. 
I really like mixing these two up here for a nice peachy kind of like softer look on the cheeks so inside the palette you have three different blushes you have your eyeshadows and then you also have these darker shades right here which are all matte you can use them for your brows and you can also use them as liner so congrats to Chloe on this beautiful palette I haven't tried the lip gloss I feel like it came in the PR package that they sent over and I don't know where I put it so I've been wanting to try the lip gloss because it looks so bomb so that is next on my list to order okay I'm gonna move on to random things that I want to mention in today's video because ah, it's so good so usually for coffee I I'll go to um, Costco and just buy the big box that brings like over a hundred and I'll drink that one and I like it it was very soft and sweet but I wanted to switch over to something else so I've been trying out the Dunkin Donuts original blend medium roast coffee and I use a Keurig but I also use the Nespresso machine for my shots that I like to <laughs> include in my coffee just for a little extra energy it's not very strong it's like right in between I have like the worst person at describing coffee but I just really like it because it reminds me of New York and it gives me that flavor if I did want to make it a lot stronger I'll go in with my Nespresso and just add a shot to it and then you know we'll just get me going for the day but I really like it if you haven't tried it I highly recommend it they have it everywhere like you know Rite Aid or your supermarket and um, we go through a box in like a day so if you guys know where I can buy a bigger box and just like buy it in bulk just I just like buying stuff in bulk that way I never run out of it let me know in the comments below or if you've seen it somewhere I will go buy it because I absolutely need it and then something else that I wanted to mention that I actually was going to mention in my last favorites and then I completely forgot. No, I didn't forget. I was going to do an Amazon favorites video, so that's why I was saving it. But a lot of you guys have been asking me about this ever since I mentioned it on my Instagram stories. So I wanted to mention it in today's video. So this is basically a diffuser that I found on Amazon. I've had about three diffusers in the past. They just kind of go bad or and like they break and you know, blah, blah, blah. This one I paid under $20 on Amazon and it worked works amazing I like to keep it on my nightstand next to my bed and it helps me really relax before bed I've been using a oh my god I thought it was open I was like no not my job so I've been using I've been using a lot of essential oils and this has to be my number one favorite to relax and just you know be at ease before going to bed I feel like I've been so stressed out with the move and my personal life and just a lot of crap that's going on and I feel like by the end of the night I'm just like oh my god I'm so happy to be in bed so I've been adding about four to five drops to my diffuser and I'll just let it run for maybe like an hour an hour and a half and I'll just lay there and be on my computer or be on my phone or just like talk to Jose and it just helps me calm down and relax and it just kind of gets me ready for bed there is no better feeling than being in bed and being comfortable and being relaxed and just ah <sighs> just getting rid of all that stress. So I really like that. And I've been using other oils for the house as well. So if you guys wanna see a video about that or you want me to talk about it in the vlogs, let me know in the comments below. I definitely won't film a full video on it, but I do wanna film a video on like my favorite products that I've been buying off Amazon. Amazon is so addictive. Amazon is like the online target cause you go there and you just buy so many random things that you didn't even know you ordered sometimes I'm like oh there's a box from Amazon like I just sometimes I'd be forgetting what I ordered but um the last thing that I wanted to mention is this sweater I mentioned it in where when did I, I don't know where I mentioned it I mentioned it somewhere I don't remember where oh my last video but I have been wearing it every single day it's so cozy so comfy a lot of people that follow me on Instagram don't watch my YouTube videos because I still get so many messages of people asking me where it's from and I got it at Nordstrom I waited so long for it because it's always so dow but I love to wear this in the nighttime or throughout the day when I just you know I'm home chilling and I want to be comfy I just throw this on it's so Oh, I'm waiting for the oatmeal color to come back in stock so I can order it but mm, as soon as it does I will be all over it so that is everything that I wanted to mention in today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it thank you so much for watching please let me know what other videos you want to see here on my channel and with that being said I will see you all in the next one very soon bye lights but this is actually from the for the <laughs> um, another product okay Moving on.